Paper craft, quilling boxes inspired by artist Yulia Brodskaya. Yulia Brodskaya is a Russian paper craft artist and illustrator known for her elegant handmade and detailed paper illustrations. Brodskaya currently lives in the UK and is known for her innovative method of working with edge glued strips of paper. Much of Brodskaya's work uses an old technique called quilling in which ribbons of paper are used to create intricate designs. She has swiftly earned an international reputation for her innovative paper illustrations and was named the Breakthrough Star of 2009 by Creative Review. In this activity, we will create our own unique and vibrant paper quilling designs inspired by the techniques of the artist Yulia Brodskaya. Materials you will need are plenty of colourful strips of paper. You will also need some liquid glue to stick it down, some scissors, perhaps a ruler if you want to make the measurement all the same size and a lid of a box. You will also need something round, it could be a pencil or a round paintbrush in order to create your curves. And for the lid of the box, this is rather important. The lid can be any size you like, it could be a lid of a shoe box or a piece of jewellery, up to you. But you can see here that I've actually added a little bit of paper just to neaten up the back of the box so that it's all white. If you want to do that, that is up to you. Um, I've also added the option of applying your first name initial here. I've got the letter A. If you want to do that, that's up to you. I printed mine out. But if not, just creating the spiral quilling design will be more than enough to create a really lovely piece of artwork. Before you start to make your design, let's look at the method. Here I'm using a round paintbrush just to make the curve and I've made quite a loose curve here just by pulling that along the ribbon of paper. Another method would be to wrap your ribbon of paper around, very tightly around a paintbrush or a round pencil to create a tighter spiral. This is purely an example of how I created my spirals and then finally glued them into the lid of the box as you see here. In this activity you have the pure creative freedom to create whatever pattern or style you want using a choice of colours. I'm just showing you the method here to make it easier and I'm dipping the spirals into a bowl of white glue here and then pushing them down until they dry.